Hello. So, it is time for week three of uh, UBL Season 6 Singles. Um, this time we're against Campfire and the Mother Doers. Um, and their team consists of Melmetal, Dragonite, Weavile, Blissey, Mega Venusaur, Donphan, Pukamuku, Regular Hooper, Regieleki, Combuskin, and Samurott. Um, their team is very, very physical. Very, very, very physical. Memetal, D Knight, and Weavile are all very, very powerful physical attackers. Domfan is, you know, very physical as well. Um, really, the main special attacker of the team is going to be the Mega Venusaur. Um, there's also potential for Hooper as well. So, yeah. Um, I like he does exist, but we do have an Excadrill. Um, Samurai also kind of exists, but our team's pretty okay here against Samurott. Um, and Combuskin, I just don't expect. If it does come, it, it comes, and I actually have a really good answer to it. Um, sorry if it seems a little rushed, but we are actually playing quite late, and also it is quite late for me, so. But I wanted to get this done. So, as for my team, this Blastoise just stops them. <laughs> um. Rapid Spin, Flip, Turn, Scald, uh, Yawn. This Blastoise just hard stops just their physical attackers. Um, Dragonite, um, Weavile, and Melmetal hate this Blastoise. Um, Combuskin hates this Blastoise. They do have a Leki and Mega Venu, um, which is also why I need to do the following. This. This. And I think this. Don't have any other teams I need to show off, so. I forgot I need to try and outspeed Mega Vino. Um, 196. So we're gonna go for like 199 here. If possible. Oh, there we go. Uh, that's 198, so we'll get a 199. There we go. So we can outspeed Mega Vino. Um, so. So, you should outspeed Mega Venu here. Um, in fact, I, I'm, I'm going to be safe. I really want to outspeed Mega Venu. <laughs> 202. Um, well, you should be really good here. We outspeed the Mega Venu now, most likely. Unless they're running a lot of... Well, I say a lot of speed. We're running 40 speed. Um, be able to flip turn on out and go into all the pieces. Um, Excadrill is still winning condition. As it always is, but this one... Super so. We're leaning very hard into Excadrill this time. Um, because if you look at their team... Um, Stone Age Earthquake kills pretty much everything. Uh, the only outliers are really Donphan and Pukamuku. So, if we pull up the damage calc real quick, um, we've got a... Uh, we've got a nice, nice Excadrill here, and we're looking at Donphan. Um... And we do 38% with Outer Life Orb, and then we throw on the Life Orb, 48% plus 2 if we get the Source Dance off, and that dies most of the time. We are also carrying many hazards to make sure that that Sturdy is broken and that we get the Threshold. Otherwise, we're just outspeeding Dragonite because if you look at their team, they've got the jump to Weavile and they've got Regieleki, um, but then they've got nothing faster than Excadrill. Straight up. We don't need Sand to win this game. Um, so, um, and we've got Sub here, um, because of the Pukamuku, um, I will double check, but I believe Inu is out, does not go through Sub, and it also just means that Pukamuku cannot be Excadrill, as long as we have the Sub up, um, so, if that is their answer to, uh, Excadrill, that will do it. I was considering actually just going Mold Breaker and not even bothering with a uh, Sand, but um, because of potential Scarfers, things like Scarf Hooper, um, even Scarf Samurott, Scarf D Knight, I guess, um, but not really. It's more so Scarf Hooper that I could see coming. Um, and also, just in case Weavile is still alive, I can still just be in Sand and just win the game. And if I do get a sub up, the game is. A sub, a sub up and an SD up, the game is certainly over. 
one of the two, and it's going to at least break most of the team, um, with, uh, if the team is whittled down. We have Gigalith, um, we are just going Explosion. Uh, this thing is literally here to sit up sand and explode. Um, if, you know, other things are alive that want to come in and switch into this, things like, uh, Mega Venu, I can't really do much to Mega Venu regardless. Um, but if Donphan is alive, which is going to be one of the main checks, um, then yeah, we, we, we can just Toxic it. Or again, we can just blow up, I don't actually know the Calc versus Venu, to be honest, I should. Let's have a look. So this is max defense Mega Venu. Um, plus two sword stance to 75%. Um, so, bit of chip on that as well. We're gonna need a reasonable amount of chip. Um, so, on a few things, but that's also why we've got, you know, we've got sand, and we kind of got the Blastoise, and we'll see a couple other Pokemon that are gonna help chip things down as well. Mew will help chip things down with actually hazards, and this is a really weird Mew set. Oh, I'm actually going with hazard snacking Mew. Because the main forms of removal aren't the best. Again, I like he's not great to my team in general. Donphan's gonna be the main one, and then there's Dragonite, I believe that's it. Um, as for removal. Um, but that means it's gotta be a bulky defensive Dragonite, and that means it's not sweeping my team, <laughs> so... Um, while I'm leaning hard into Excadrill, the team can function outside of just leaning into Excadrill. It's very bulky and can pivot around and be annoying and all that good stuff. But if we can get the double hazards up, you know, Stealth Rocks and even just a layer of spikes, um, I think we can do a lot of work. Um, because uh, Stealth Rocks plus a layer of spikes, it pretty much means that Mega Venu is going to die. Um, but I think with those two, uh, two sets of hazards up, everything is dead. Um, nothing's living, uh, plus two SD after that, uh, plus two EQ after that, so. But obviously we will need some chip. Scold is on here because I expect the main remover to be Donphan, so we've got Scold. And then U turn to just get out when we need to. And we're outspeeding Cooper, we're not outspeeding, uh, Dragonite, because I don't expect Dragonite to be switching to this, and if it is, cool, I'm pretty physically offensive, and I can Scold it. Next up, Scarf Rotom Heat, uh, again, we're kind of outspeeding Scarf, uh, Hooper. Which also means we can go Modest Scarf here. Uh, Vol Switch, Overheat, Thunderbolt, and Trick. Uh, this also means we outspeed Weavile, which is pretty important. So we outspeed pretty much everything on our team other than a plus 2 D-Knight. Which uh, we would have to go Timid Scarf for. But uh, the Modest means we actually get a bit more extra damage. And again, Domfan's basically the main issue. Um, if we're able to just, you know, go for the Overheat and just kind of break through a few things. Or just get good momentum here. That's the, that's the idea. So, the main idea with the whole team in general is we're going to leave Mew, set up a hazard, see what their response is, you turn out, and depending on what they want to try and do, um, we can go into Blastoise, we can go to Run of Heat, or we can just start breaking with Excadrill immediately. Because um, we don't need the SD to just break, we can just, like, life full of uh, Earthquakes are going to hurt pretty much the entire team. I didn't talk about it, but we got Rock Blast over over Rock Slide. Same with Gigalith as well. That's just to break the multi-scale on the Dragonite. Um, three hits of Rock Blast from Excadrill will actually take out Dragonite, and I guess uh, in turn, same with Gigalith. Um, like, I think unless they're, like, max defense Dragonite, um, I think even if it's max defense Dragonite, because of the stab bonus that Gigalith gets, it will take out the, uh, the uh, Dragonite. So... But yeah, Scarf Room and Heat, just to kind of like, chip things down, pivot out, get myself momentum. Um, and last but not least, um, for the first and actually going to be final week, uh, Tornadus. We're actually bringing Tornadus to help chip down um, Mega Venus Door because we don't actually have a Psychic move on Mew. So we've got Tornadus here um, with a weird looking spread. So we're out speeding Dragonite. Um, we have enough special attack that... Uh, two Hurricanes, even after Leech Seed, uh, will get the KO. Um, so, because I, I literally had to do the exact maths, um, I believe. Uh, I don't know if it's guaranteed, actually. I think it's, like, literally, uh, a 88% chance. It's, like, there's, I, like, so, for those who don't know, um, like, uh, damage rolls work in, like, there's 16 potential numbers you can get. On a damage roll and only two of them um don't get this ko 
Um, so, I, so basically, I would have to get the min damage roll from the first one. And the min damage roll from the second one. Um, to actually get this. I believe is going to be how it works. Um, we can kind of show this off here. Uh, it's very, very interesting. And something I'd love to do. So, if we kind of put shove in modest 16s uh, with the hurricane here. Against max special defense mega Venusaur uh, with calm. You can see here all the damage numbers, um, 204, 206, 210, 212, 216, all the way ranging up to 2, 2, uh, 242. It's a massive damage range, it's, you know, it's a swing of like over 10%. Um, damage ranges are huge uh, and do matter in a lot of instances. Um, so if we do 204 HP here, um, that would put them down to 160. Uh, so actually I think because I... I kind of missed i kind of forgot about like i was increasing the damage so i actually didn't think about this um so we put them to them down to 160 at minimum um they then gained 43 hp from our leech seed because of uh, how much hp i have um because it works on one eighth of how much I hp yet this which i believe is 43 so they gained 43 hp which means they go up to 207 which means if you look at their damage, uh, the damage numbers here, there's uh, 14 of the 16 damage numbers. Um, hit um, 207? No, it should be 203, right? If I was down at one, if it was down to 160, yeah, so it actually should be 203. So yeah, so we actually do get the KO. Um, initially it was a one in uh, uh, like the the last two numbers here. Um wouldn't have got the KO, so it would have been... I would have to get the min roll from the first damage roll, which would have done 200, and then had to get the min, uh, the, one of the two min rolls from the other damage numbers, but because I actually increased the damage... A lot of technical stuff. Basically, we 2 it KO now after... Uh, even after Leech Seed chip. Um, so if it like tries to Leech Seed us to stay alive, then it can't. Uh, we get to 2 it KO with... Uh, with Hurricane. Knockoff is great utility. Same with U-turn, just to create the pivoting. And I didn't really know what to throw on as the last move, so we've got Tailwind on here. So if Sand somehow doesn't work, um, we can just go uh, Tailwind with Excadrill. <laughs> um, which I think is quite funny. Um, it also means we can priority Tailwind before we die to, um, to Weavile. So, and if they go for an SD, wh uh, while we set up Tailwind, then I guess we can U-turn out and do actually reasonable damage. There's nothing else I really wanted on here. Taunt was a temptation, or Nasty Plot, but I, I didn't really think it was worth it. Uh, nasty Plot felt a bit overkill, to be honest. Um, there is Heat Wave, actually. Heat Wave seems actually probably alright, just because of Mel Metal, but... Like, I don't know. I just don't expect... Well, I guess Mel Metal could come in. You see, I built this team very quickly, huh? Um, I guess we can have a quick look at how much um, it would do. Well, that's Focus Blast. I don't really want to rely on Focus Blast here. Um, I've already got one inaccurate move. I don't really want two. Um, I guess I'll just look at max HP. I know they tend to run a lot of special defense, but I just want to see. Oh, that's a 2 AKO. That's reasonable. It will destroy me back because I hate my metal and a stupid thing. Um... But I don't know. I, I feel like the Tailwind has... Nah, Tailwind does not have use. I'm, I'm coping here. Um, let's just go with Heat Wave then. Why not? Um, oh! No, we'll go Heat Wave. Or Focus Blast. No, we'll go Heat Wave. I don't want to miss. I <laughs> don't want to miss. So. Yeah, I guess that's the team. I'm By the looks of things, I'm very likely to change what I want to do um but yeah we'll have to see um but this is pretty much just can we get six kills with Excadrill um because the team is very very Excadrill weak and we'll see if it can happen if not the rest of the team can quite pip easily pivot and chip things down for things like Rose and Pete to kind of clean up in the end game or even Tornadoes to be fair Tornadoes can actually do some reasonable queen up because it's not like it's not offensive even Gigalith maybe Gigalith can actually put in a ton of work too so, anyway, I'll see you guys for the match. Alright, we're back. Uh... Sorry, 
uh, just time to sort stuff out. Where's my music? There's my music. There we go. Okay. Show all teams. Let's go. <clears throat> well, we're battling campfire. Is that no more metal? Oh. Is that no more metal? And no Weavile, right? Dang. Okay. Well, they did bring Hooper. Where's... Okay. Okay, so. Mega Venu, Hooper, Donphan, Samurott, Blissey, d Knight. Kinda wouldn't mind leading Mew, but I am worried about Hooper lead. Because it will hurt me. Whereas I think leading Rotom is probably better. I think I'm okay with leading Rotom here. I do lead Hooper. Um, I outspeed Hooper because I am Scarf, and I made sure to outspeed Scarf Hooper. Because Scarf Hooper hits 393. Um, we are able to go into Gigalith, which is like super specially defensive. I'm going to trick me a Scarf. Unfortunate. Rather they didn't do that. Um... He's now got a Scarf Gigalith, and that doesn't really help me at all. We do outspeed here. How much do I do with my Mew against uh, Hooper? Cold is like zero. Um, okay, we get the toxic on the Don fan. Really nice. <laughs> Not what I expected, but hey ho. Um, we can just get a Blastoise here. Is there to put up rocks? Um. They do have the Hooper that can uh, s uh, that can block the spin here. The super is going to be annoying, isn't it? Um, how much would my skull do? Next to nothing. It's really unfortunate. Just, okay, this is why you should make sure you know what you're doing, right? What the heck does Hooper even get? Does he get T-Ball? He gets Energy Ball. And T-Ball, okay. <laughs> um, I'm just going to try and spin. They go to Blitz T. Well, I am not offensive Blastoise either, so I think they're safe on that end. Um, I'm just going to flip turn on out. I'm not in here to stick around. I'm going to go to Mew, and I'm going to try and start setting up some hazards. The Aerobin Therapy, get rid of the Toxic. That's fine by me. Um, I'm just going to set up some rocks of my own here, because I want to start chipping things down. And we do have the Scald for the... Uh, for the Don fan here. Sturdy is already broken. I don't... Do it, KO? They are going to go to Hooper here. Rocks and Sand means that... 
Like, it's pretty close to death. Um... We're seeing Focus Blast, so it may not actually have a move for Blastoise. That being said, I don't really want to go to it, Blastoise, so I'm just going to U-turn that out. Um, and go to uh, go to Tornadus here. Take that reasonably well. I do get dropped, and the Defiant's coming in play! <laughs> I switched to the Defiant last second. Because um, I figured, why am I running a uh, thingy? Why am I running a... Uh, what's it called? Why am I running a uh, Prankster with no thingies so I can just go for a knockoff here like really easily <laughs> um so I'm not that physically offensive but the fact that I've got plus two knockoff is like kind of a big deal um D Knight's gonna come in it is uh it is boots um Could be Boots Defog. Um, I think I'm okay with just going for a knockoff here. Break the multi-scale, break the thingy. It is a defensive one. Okay, that's really good to know. With Toxic, it's very nice to see. Um, let's have a look at that damage. So Tornadus, I am plus two. Versus Dragonite. So the multi scale works. Okay, so they definitely got some bulk on them. Max HP. Max HP seems reasonable for them to be. Um, so if we take off the multi scale um, and the item, so they're at uh, eighty one percent. Knockoff's going to do twenty five percent. Hurricane's going to do about forty. Um, they seem to be defensive. I'm just going to U-turn on out. Um, I'm just going to go to Rotom here. I don't know why I went to Rotom, to be honest. Uh, well, they get their thingy back, but they've lost their thingy. They've, I, they got their thingy back, but they lost their thingy. I'm really good with words, by the way. They got their... What am I trying to say? They got their multi-scale back, but they still lost their boots. So, we're just going to Volt Switch again, which breaks the multi-scale. Um, I really wish I had Roost on Mew. Um, I think I'm okay sinking a Toxic here, if I can get it. Yeah, okay, so this bulky d Knight with Toxic and Roost has just got a Toxic on it. So, I'm really happy about that. Um... We haven't seen Defog yet. Um, toxic Roost, it definitely implies Defog. Um, but it could also be a Rapid Spin thingy. I'm just gonna... Okay, so they are Defog. It's good to see and know. Um, that means they're kind of forced into Defogging again. Um... I am faster than D Knight, and it made sure I was. Uh, Excadrill versus Max HP. If I get three hits, I get the kill. Um, actually, I think even two hits would do it. Um, so I'm just going to go for it. They're going to defog. They want to make sure that hazards are off the field. Um, and this is an Excadrill switch in for sure. Because Excadrill now gets to just go for what it wants. Um, which, granted, isn't a lot here. We don't get a lot out of it. Um, if we SD, we get a kill. There's no way it can kill me, right? It's a defensive Dragonite. But it could. It could kill me. Right. The middle ground hit play here is sub. So I'm gonna sub. We get to see if they've got EQ. They do. Okay, I'm really glad that I went for that then. <laughs> um. 
I'm just gonna try and rock blast it then. Take it out. There goes their Deep Knight, which means that likely that's their removal gone as well. Um, which is really nice. I'm gonna get a Blastoise here. Take like zero from that. Um, really nice. Um. Wonder if they expected they expected me to expect them to go for earthquake and uh they okay so they expected me to expect earthquake going into one of my two uh, floaties uh torn or rotom so they go for stone edge that's what happened there um there's no way you take this well right. Samurai? Uh, t bots a kill, Volt Switch is most likely a kill. Um. Or I could get a Mew. What's Samurai's speed? Oh, it's 70. Okay. So. Um. Mew outspeeds, Excadrill outspeeds, Rotom obviously certainly fucking outspeeds. Um. Torn out speeds. Everything out speeds up for Gigalith. So I wonder if I just try and get up a layer of rocks here. Um. Or if I just get a Rotom. I'll get a Mew. I'm just going to try and get my rocks up here. Um, even if it SDs, it's Hydro Pump. That does a lot of damage. Um, I could try and just sack this off for another layer of spikes. Um, but I'm going to try and preserve it a little bit better than that. I'm going to try and go back into Blastoise here. They do miss the Hydro Pump. That is unfortunate. That would have done a, a pretty reasonable chunk of damage. Um... Not gonna lie. Uh, oh. That. They. They left. Um, maybe some connection issues. Um, do I flip turn here? Probably flip turn. Right. Yeah, so we go for the flip turn. I think I have to go to Torn. I hope I can live. Okay, yeah. We get the Grass Knot, which is nice. Um, how much is a Hurricane going to do if I actually hit? Good chance to kill. I'll go for it. To go to Donphan, see how much this does. Holy cow, that's a lot of damage. I didn't expect it to do that much. Um, We do get the Confusion as well. I did not expect it to do that much. Um, that's insane. We're actually on 18%, which means we're going to die. I'd rather not die. So I'm going to U-turn on out. Uh, if I get, it, get a confusion here, that's incredible. If not, not the end of the world. Just go for an earthquake, do some chip. So I flip turn on out. Um I'm gonna force it so Mega Venu can't come in, so I'm gonna go to Torn here. Uh 
Um, I'm going to U-turn on out. And then I'm going to go to Rotom, I think. Rotom or Excadrill. Um, we don't need Sand to win this game at this point. I'm just going to go to Rotom. Kind of keeps me the best momentum here. Yeah, as they teleport on out. They get a Samurott. Probably for an Aqua Jet. Um, it's the only thing I can think of. Ooh, they are AV. They are assault vested out of their minds. Um. This might be being very, uh, like, up at, at a lot. Um. <laughs> it's a good chance I don't win this. Because <laughs> I, I don't know how much I've got for Mega Venu at this point. Uh, so you just take out Mega Blastoise here. Um. Which can Volt Switch. As they Aqua Jet. Do a good amount of damage. Uh, and once again, same play as before. I'm going to force them not to go into Mega Venu here. As I kind of bring in Torn. Um, because I don't have a lot for this Mega Venu at this point. I'm going to U-turn on out. I'm just going to go to Giggle if here. If they stay in and soft boil, that's not the worst for me. Yeah, the soft boil. Um, I'm just going to explode. Which, um, there's a chance that I actually... Look at it, yeah. AS toss. And I blow up. I do a ton of damage. Um, Excadrill sub will not actually live a S toss. But I also now know their full moveset. Um, which means I can live. I can live. Um, <laughs> it's, it's the end of the sentence. I can live. Um, so I'm just going to SD. As a soft boil up. I don't need the speed. Um... I think them soft boiling wraps up this game because I'm just going to go for another SD. I should have enough damage output here to win this game. Plus four light orb. That's over a thousand attack. And then this should KO Mega Venu. And if it doesn't, I'd be stunned. Um, well, Mega Venu. Let's see if you can live a plus four light orb earthquake from Excadrill. I'm faster than Venu. Let's see if you can do it. They brought some really interesting sets that definitely threw me off guard. The AV Samurott. Um, the Defensive Dragonite as well, actually. Uh, defensive Dragonite was not what I was expecting. Um, they actually brought double removal, which... <laughs> saying how little team they... Uh, little removal they had, I'm surprised they brought two forms of it against my... You know, the, the one time I bring a hazard stacking Mew. Um, but yeah, uh, that is GG. And Excadrill gets the clean up. Which was the goal, but uh, some of the Pokemon definitely got in there uh, for a bit of damage as well. Torn actually, I think, actually got a couple kills in there. Um, which was quite amusing. Saying that I'm literally losing Torn like, as of this match. Um, so, I'm just going to grab the replay. And that is going to be it. Um, so, that puts us now 2 1. Um. I think it's like plus three or something. Uh, we can have a quick look here because I've got the dock open just to see. They didn't bring Puke and Mookum, also a little surprised at that, but hey. So we can see here on the standings, yeah. So we were 1-1 one, one, minus two, so now we're going to be 2-1 two, plus two, which I believe puts us fourth overall because I updated the standings. Um, we're going to be taking over where the Leering Lycan Rocks are here. Um, and we're going to be 2-1 uh, plus two. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of the standings as of, as of week three. 
Um, and hopefully I'll be able to sneak Excadrill on to just kill leaders now. Um, so yeah. Uh, that is going to be it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.